So yes, the topic is divide two digits by one digit. Whitney is working out 49 divided by four using a place value chart. And here you see she's put the 49 in, she's put the four tens, and she's put eight ones, but she has one one left over. Okay, so she's done her best to divide it into four. Talk about Whitney's method. Well, we've just done that. Why is there one counter left over? Yeah, that's the remainder. We can't put it in here because then the other three rows won't have enough. So it's because that's the remainder, basically. Complete the division, 49 divided by 4. Well, can you remember the answer? What was it? Or do we need to? That's right, 12 remainder 1. And you can just write an R and then 1. Okay, use place value counters to complete the divisions. Oops, sorry, 50 divided by 4. Okay, and 51 divided by 4. Right, okay. Um, now I'm just thinking if we can do it on this sheet. So we've got 50 divided by 4. So instead of 49, we have 50. Okay, that means we have just one extra one. So what would that make the answer? Good, 12 remainder 2. Okay, now, again, we have to add another one. So all we need to do is go up. And instead of 50, it's 51, which means I need to add another counter here. Good, 12 remainder 3, and it's still acceptable because 3 is less than 4, so that's an acceptable answer. Now it says, what did you notice? Well, what did you notice as you added 1 to the number? you're the time you increase the number you were dividing, the remainder would also increase, yeah? Whilst this number remained the same. However, if we go up to 52, it can't be remainder 4, can it? Because we're dividing by 4. What will the answer be then if we do 52 divided by 4? 13, good. Because we can't have remainder 4 because 4 goes into 4. Yeah, so we need to add another one here. Okay. Right. Let's have a look here. Complete the divisions. 47 divided by 3. Now, um... I'm not sure if they want you to do it with counters. Let's see what they say. Oh, they don't say. Okay, so we'll do it like this. It means I have to rub it off all the time because there's not much room on here. 47. What's 10 times 3? 30. Okay, and we have how much left? 17. Okay, what is 30 divided by 3? 10. Now's the difficult part. What's 17 divided by 3? You'll get a remainder. Now you need to memorize it. So what's 1 times 3? 2 times 3? Three? 3 times 3? 4 times 3? 5 times 3? 6 times 3? Yeah, good. So you need to memorize this. So if I say to you, what's 6 times 3? 18. No, 18, yeah? You need to memorize it so you have it immediately ready for me, the answer. Yeah? Without thinking, it takes too long if you have to work out 3 plus 3 plus 3. That takes too long. You've got to just memorize the answer, okay? Anyway, 18 is too much, isn't it? Because we're dividing into 17. We need a number less than 17, so we have to choose 15. How many times does 3 go into 15? Five times. Good, okay. So, what would the remainder be? Two, thank you. 3 times 5 is 15. 17 is two more than 15, okay? Right, 26 divided by 5. Now, uh, maybe I rub this off. So we have 26 divided by 5. What, uh, you can actually work this out in your head. What's the highest multiple of 5 which goes into 26? 25, right, good. And the 5 times 10, we have 5, 10. Right, yes, that's right, before you change it. So it's 25 is the highest multiple which goes into 26. That's 5 times 5, okay? So it goes 5 times, yeah? 5 times 5 is 25. What would the remainder be? We've got 25. 1. Good. Okay, now we have 89. That's a slightly larger number, so I will need to put it into this diagram. And uh, we're dividing by 4. So we do the obvious, which is 10 times 4. 40. Now, the reason I didn't do it with this one is 10 times 5 is 50, which is way over 25. Yeah. So anyway, we can do another 40. And then here we can do a 9. Hopefully I can. So 40 divided by 4 is 10. Okay, and we know this one will also be 10. What's, how many times does 4 go into 9? Two times, remainder, 1, good. Okay, because you get 2 times 4 is 8. 
Right, so 10 plus 10 plus 2 is... And what is it? Good, and then the remainder is 1. Okay. Now, 32 divided by 5. Again, we can work that out in our head because the 5 times table isn't that high, hard. Okay, I can continue on here. 30. So the biggest multiple of 5 is 30. That goes into 32, yeah? How many times do we times 5 by to get 30? 6, okay, 6. And what is the remainder? 2, yeah, if we've got 30, it has to be remainder 2. Good. Right, 49 divided by 6. Uh, um, okay, so again, you need to know your 6 times table, really. So we'll start off. 6, what's the next one? 6, 12, 18. Keep going. What's the next one? And one more. 54, right, yeah. So now we can see we've gone over. The closest number is this one, okay? And we have to be just below this number. So it's 48. How many times did we times 6 by to get 48? 8. And what is the remainder? This remainder 1, okay? Yeah, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 6 equals 48. Remainder Okay, now we're doing 47 with the four times table. Oh, we haven't done the four times table, but we can make it a bit easier. Let's put it in one of these. Of these. But you need to divide them by four. Well, you can only make one four, can't you, here? And then you have remainder three. So you have one, remainder three. Okay? Your final answer will be 11, remainder three. Yeah. yeah. Okay, 11, remainder three. And we know that's right because 11 times four equals... 44. And 44 is just 3 less than 47, isn't it? Too high a number. Well, you could, but it will take too long in the lesson. So we'll put 74 there. We're going to put 30 here and 30. And what do we have left? 14. Good. Because uh, 30 and 30 is 60. Right. So 30 divided by 3 equals 10. So this must be 10. What about 14? How many times does 3 go into 14? Good. 4. Well done. So we know this because 12 is the highest multiple that is under 14 of 3, yeah? So divide by 3 equals 4. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4. What is the remainder? So you've got 12. What is the remainder? 2, good. 24, yeah? Because we've got 10 here, 10 here, 4 here, and then we've got the remainder 2. So 24, remainder 2. Let's so write 81 here, yeah? Okay, and which gives me, good, 7 one time, because 2 times 7 is 14, which is too much. So it can only go one time. But what is the remainder then? What's left over? 4. Yeah, it's 11, remainder 4, okay? Easy if you know your 4 times table. 36 divided by 4. Good. Yeah, 9 times 4 is 36, so this would just be 9. I'll put that one in, but uh, maybe I'll put another one in and then leave the rest blank. So if 36 divided by 4 is 9, what is 37 divided by 4? Good, well done. Okay, what would then be 38 divided by 4? Good, what would 39 divided by 4 be? Good, what would 40 divided by 4 be? 10, good, yeah? So 38 divided by 4 would be 9 remainder... 2, because you're going up, 39 divided by 4 would be 9, remainder 3, and then you can't have remainder 4 because you're dividing by 4, so the next one would be 10, and we all know 10 times 4 is 40. Right, let's look at 70. Do you know what 70 divided by 5 is? Do you know that? 14, good job, okay, because we know 10 times 5 is 50, okay, but we still need 20 more, so how many times do we times 5 by to get 20? Well, I'll tell you, it's four. Good, well done. And if you add them together, you get 14. Okay, if 70 divided by 5 equals 14, what about 71 divided by 5? Good, it would be 14, remainder 1. So what about 72 divided by 5? Good, 14, remainder 2. 73 divided by 5. Good, 14, remainder 3. We're up to 3 now. 74 divided by 5. 4, yeah, good, because 4 is still less than 5, so we don't need to add another one on here. Okay, um, let's go on to this one. Right, 45 divided by 3. Does anyone know that answer? If not, we can. that's okay, we can break it down. 
So 45 divided by 3, well, I, I, good, yes, it is 15. Okay, anyway, we'll break it down. So we have 30 here just because I've started. So this must be 15. 3 goes into 30 10 times, and 3 goes into 15 5 times, making it 15. Okay, and then we have to go through the same process again. So 46, we've increased it by 1. So in other words, this would be 15, remainder 1. Good. Then we have 47 divided by 3, which would be... Good, 15 remainder 2. What about 48 divided by 3? Good, this would be 16, because we can't have 15 remainder 3. We can't have 3 because we have 3 here. So we need to change that to 16. Okay? 49 divided by 3. Good, it would be 16 remainder 1. Okay? Right, now we have 92 divided by 4. And again, that's not so... Let's just see. So we put 92 here, and we need another bubble. So, I'll rub this off. Right, and we're going to put 40 in each, because I think you know already that, because we're dividing by 4. And we're left with how much? 12, good. Okay, how many times does 4 go into 12? Three times. So you're correct when you say 23. Okay, 91 divided by 4. Now we're going down. So, mm. so what you have to do is you have to take 1 from here, which will be 20. 2, yeah? And then you have to do remainder 3. So one less from here and one less from here. Yeah? So now it's 90, so the next one will be 22 remainder be one less, won't it? And 3. So it will be remainder 2. Okay? Bear in mind we're going backwards now, yeah? So the next one is 89 divided by 4, so it will be 22 remainder one okay and then finally here it would just be 22 okay hopefully that makes sense you're doing the same thing this time they're going up and this time they're going backwards they're going down but remember we're dividing by four so it has to be remainder three is the highest number so you count down from there okay right dora has been working out some divisions 72 divided by four equals 18. Okay, so in other words, 73 divided by 4 will be 18 remainder 1. And so she continues. 74 divided by 4 is 18 remainder 2. 75 divided by 4 is remainder 18 remainder 3. I know without working it out that 76 divided by 4 must be 18 remainder 4. Why does Dora think this? Well, first off, we know she's wrong, yeah? Because you can't have 4 if you're divided by 4. But why does she think that it's 18 remainder 4? Well, she's continu continuing on the pattern, isn't she? She thinks because then the next one, would, it would make sense for it to be 18 remainder 4, wouldn't it? Because you're going up by 1 each time. But we know that's not correct. Yeah? So why does Dora think this? Because the... Whoops, sorry about my handwriting. Oh, no. It's very difficult for me to write on the line. Because the remainder keeps... Going up by one. That's why she thinks it, isn't it? So the remainder cannot be the same or higher than the number you're dividing by. This remainder cannot be the same or higher than this number. Okay? Right, let's move on. So eggs come in boxes of six. Annie has 75 eggs. In other words, you're probably going to have to do 75 divided by six. Complete the division work to work it out. Yes, so 75 divided by 6. Now, we need to do the more complicated bit of working out the answer. So, I make my bubble of 75, and I'm going to divide it by, I'm going to, not divide it by, but I am dividing it by 6, so I'm going to take away 60. What am I left with? What goes in here? 15, good. And then I have to divide 60 by 6, which gives me, how many times does 6 go into 15? Two times, yeah, because two times six makes 12. So that means you'll have a remainder of three. Okay, so what should your answer then be here? Well, I'll explain because we're running out of time. 10 plus two is 12, remainder three. Good, 12 remainder three. What does the remainder represent? Talk about it with a partner. Well, it represents the number of eggs she has left over. She can't put three eggs in a box. Complete the sentence. Annie can fill, so she can fill 12 boxes with three eggs left over. Okay, 
let's move on. Jack has these bulbs. So 49 daffodils, 63 tulips, and 98 crocuses. Okay, so he is going to divide each one by four. And then 40, how much do we have left over? It's nine, okay. Four goes into 40 10 times. Four goes into nine two times with a remainder one. Okay, so our answer is 12 here, remainder one. How many of each bulb will be left over? Yeah, so you put the remainder in these boxes and the number in these, the whole number. Tulips is 63. So I need to write 63 here. And that would mean we'd have 23 left. So instead, we'd have 23 here, okay? And 4 goes into 23 five times. So I'm giving you the answer now, because 5 times 4 is 20, remainder 3, because we haven't got much time, okay? So I would put uh, 15 here with three tulips left, yeah. Okay, next one, 98. So this is a big number, so I'll need to take 40 twice, to be honest. Okay, 40, yeah? So that's another 10, 80, meaning you'll have 18 left. How many times does 4 go into 18? Well, I'll tell you, it is 4 times. 4 times 4 makes 16. Yeah, so you have a remainder of 2. So in other words, 10 plus 10 plus 4 is 24, with a remainder of 2. Okay. How many tubs could Jack use so that there are no bulbs left over? 63 and 98. So you need to think of a number which goes into all these numbers. Now that's why I say it's very important to know your times table because I know, because I've practiced when I was your age, I was practicing my times table a lot. And I know that the number, so I know just by looking at these numbers that they are, th those two are in the seven times table. 49 is seven times seven, 63 is nine times seven. It means um, if there are seven tubs, then all of them will go into, into uh, them, yeah? Because 98, well, 10 times seven, is 70 and then 28 is also 70 plus 28 and 28 is 4 times 7. Right.